Anyone who has read any of the Dennis Wheatley novels will remember The Cot of Gifford Hillary which is a horror supernatural story series of events in which Gifford Hillary was killed by a ray gun invented by his scientist friend. This is when readers find out that his spirit, Erka, leaves his body and tries to communicate with the real world. He has always been terrified of being buried alive and stated that the lid of the coffin should not be screwed down, that air holes should be bored in its ends, and that the family vault should not be closed until one week after his coffin had been lowered into his grave. The story is fascinating and is a highly recommended read. Doubt, however, in a real life situation, being buried alive or put onto a funeral pyre is something that nearly was the fate of a 17 year old Indian teenager that had been bitten by a stray dog a month previously and became critically ill with a fever in hospital. Staff at the hospital, where Kumar Maruid was taken, did everything to treat the infection that was caused through the dog bite. According to a report in the Times of India, doctors told his family an infection had spread across his body. Kumar was not expected to live if taken off of life support. His parents decided to take him home, and it was there, after a short period of time, Kumar appeared to have stopped moving and breathing, and the family were sure that he had died. Funeral arrangements were made, and it was only a short distance of two kilometers from the ceremonial site that Kumar opened his eyes and started moving his arms and legs. He was immediately rushed to hospital, where he is reported to be in a critical position. It is of course, very unusual for people to wake after being pronounced dead, but it has happened, it was only last year that a man in Mumbai who was presumed dead woke up just moments before his post-mortem was due to begin. We imagine that he was quite pleased. 